Okay, welcome to part two of the installation for gutter filter. Uh, what I've done here is I've cut a very short piece of gutter filter, so as you can see how it's actually installed. I suggest that you wear gloves when you do this, because the top of your corrugated iron may be sharp. Also, if you're doing it on uh, roof tiles as well, you will find there's bits of um, sharp edges on roof tiles. So it's great to wear a, a good solid pair of gloves. And uh, also, I use a, a folding Stanley knife or, or folding knife whereby I can simply fold it up and put it in my pocket should I be on the roof. It saves me carrying something down the ladder and up the ladder that's sharp. So what we're going to do here is we're going to remember that the V goes to the bottom of the gutter and to the back of the gutter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn over the gutter filter and simply sit it on my roof, like so. And this will give me an idea of where I need to make a cut in the foam to accommodate my gutter bracket. And when we do cut it, we'll be cutting down to about a 20 millimetres roughly. You can see the front edge of the filter here has a square on it, and we're going to cut down about that far. Now if you're using the gutter filter, which is a, a different profile, which is the GF001, you'll see it comes to a point. So in other words, this gutter filter fits like this. When I turn it over, it comes to a point. Just look, I have a rule of eye there around about 20 millimetres. And that's how deep your cut's going to go, to about that line there. So we'll pop this one back. We've lined it up roughly where we want it. And this is where we're going to put our, our cut. 